after not making it yesterday, where they didn't. They we actually made, we made it, <laughs> well, but they weren't there. Yeah, they weren't there for us. So. We're on our way again, and hopefully this time there will be produce there. And it's this huge farmers market with like flea market stuff and just so much Everything stuff for sale. Yeah, and they have auctions. And, yeah, it's great. So we'll be there in just a few minutes and we'll have some really good fruits and veggies to show you. All right, we're here and we're finding parking and we'll be at the entrance soon and we'll be getting some tuna or tuna. something. Yeah. Watermelons, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting excited because there's so much good stuff here. And it's open today too, because, yeah, it was like a ghost town here the other day, and we didn't know why, and we couldn't check, because we don't have our phone internet stuff, but, yeah, we're here, and there's the entrance right over there, and we'll be there shortly. <laughs> And here's our favorite stand. And there they are. <laughs> okay, so here it all is. That's everything that we got at the farmer's market. Um, now this is enough food to last for like a week for two people. Um, and actually this is probably more than enough. Um, we normally, this was, we got a really good price on um, the jackfruit. He gave it to us for about a um, dollar ten a pound. So um, if you're willing to buy lots of things, a lot of times people will, um, you know, if you buy things in bulk, they give you a really good price. These, um, we'll do a video on these maybe on how to um, cut them open, but they're the tuna cactuses the prickly pears and they're super sweet and really tasty and they were 50 cents a pound at the farmers market at um, Denio's. Now this isn't like a normal farmers market it's like the mega mart farmers market where they have like everything there and um, jackfruit is probably one of the most exotic fruit they have there. Now they do have other fruits occasionally, um, this one's here year round though, and it's a really cool find if you can find it. Um, and you can request a lot of times too, I know we've, we've been able to request different fruits and things at the farmer's market, so we've got three different types of watermelons, and some little peppers and things, and these tomatoes, and the reason why we buy all these there is because we know that a lot of the farmers grow these from their, their house basically. and they're not necessarily grown organically, but they're grown without pesticides and they're not farmed with a bunch of chemicals and things. So, um, you know, if you're looking for uh, something that's more affordable, they definitely, they make it a lot easier to be able to buy those sorts of things there. So these were, I mean, they're super tasty and they were a dollar twenty-five a pound so it's pretty much impossible to find tomatoes that are grown semi-organically for that price um, anywhere else and papaya those are super delicious we got to taste them that's another thing is if you're at the farmers market ask to taste all this stuff because you never know um, the quality of it until you get to taste it so I hope you enjoyed our farmer's market haul. That was pretty much it um, for the day. And that was about $140 for everything. Um, so there, you know, it's a, a great way to find affordable food for, that's two people for one week, just about. We'll see how much it lasts through. I have a feeling it'll last until next week. And, Maybe even further if we freeze some of the things. We might be freezing some of the jackfruit and the pineapple, but um, either way, it's a great source of fruit and raw food. 